New at six, cutting down commute times the way a new plan to add express lanes to a busy stretch of road could impact homeowners for years to come. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameis Newler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is driving Tampa Bay forward, going in-depth on the plan for I-275 in Pinellas County. Sarah FDOT says this project could drastically speed up traffic. Yeah, especially for anyone that drives from the Howard Franklin Bridge all the way to the Sunshine Skyway. And those two new express lanes will hopefully avoid what you're seeing here, which is yet another backup here on the interstate tonight as rush hour continues. I think it would be awesome. <laughs> John Perdome can't help but smile thinking about a plan to add express lanes on I-275. It would be such a relief because, you know, there's people that are doing their, their, their daily commutes. And if they have it, it's excellent. He knows the frustration of sitting in bumper to bumper traffic on the interstate. FDOT also plans to fix another problem that boils his blood. Lanes in both the north and southbound directions ending abruptly, forcing drivers to merge. Oh my God, well then you don't know where you're going, who's coming in, so you're on the defense all around. FDOT says the express lanes will cost drivers, but help open up traffic on the general use lanes. To help uh, get traffic through the area, uh, a lot faster for those that uh, have somewhere to be. Yet some nearby homeowners are worried about the project costing them their homes. T.C. Miller's property sits just 50 feet off the interstate. We've been here since 77. The house is paid for. We can't afford to go anywhere else. 16 homes could be bought by state transportation leaders to make way for the project. But FDOT says that part of the plan is still very preliminary. I, mean, I don't want to even move. This is my forever home. Noise is another concern. This is the roar of traffic Miller already hears in his backyard. FDOT says they plan to install new sound walls like this to block out noise, adding that this project is crucial to keeping Tampa Bay traffic moving. As you know, people are moving to the Tampa Bay region daily, and so we have to uh, be prepared for that growth. Yep. That is extremely important. Now, after I want to hear your opinion on these new express lanes before starting construction on the $390 million project in 2000, or 2024. Reporting in St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. Sarah, thank you. So please let us know about your ideas for traffic stories by calling our Driving Tampa Bay Forward tip line at 866-428-6397. You can also email us at driving at WFTS.com.